you want to know how to get mod packs in Minecraft. And then we're going to show you exactly how to do this in this video. Now, we're going to be using CurseForge for this because CurseForge is the most popular Minecraft mod pack loader. However, there is also Modernth. A lot of popular mod packs are on both CurseForge and Modernth. So you can kind of use either one. This video is for CurseForge specifically, but we do have a dedicated video for Modernth as well. With that being said, to get CurseForge, what you want to do is go to the second link in the description down below, and that will take you here. This is our in-depth text guide on getting Curse CurseForge, and there's even an in-depth guide on using CurseForge. We're going to be going over mod packs specifically in this video, but you can use it for individual mods and a lot of other stuff as well that this in-depth guide goes into. Once you're here, scroll down and click the Download CurseForge button to go to the official CurseForge download page. On this page, go ahead and click Download Standalone here, and it will go ahead and start downloading. You may need to keep or save this file, and it's 100% safe to do that. And watch downloading code message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown that XYZ says SGA to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server where you can easily add CurseForge mod packs to your server. Hundreds of CurseForge mod packs are supported and can be installed with just one click. Plus, if you have any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support there to help you out. So stop struggling to host a CurseForge Minecraft server and start one the simple way at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown that XYZ says SGH. Nevertheless, with CurseForge downloaded, we can go ahead and minimize our browser. If we want to find that file we downloaded, most likely it's going to be in your download downloads folder here. Once you find it, you can go ahead and double click on it, and then the CurseForge installer will open up. This is installed just like any other program. So we can go ahead and click next here, click next again, assuming you agree to your EOLA, which we do, and then it's going to go ahead and install. Once it's finished, the CurseForge app will open up right like so, and in the CurseForge app, we want to select Minecraft. You can see once CurseForge is open, Minecraft is right here. We can click on that, click standard installation, and click continue, and it gets Minecraft ready. Now, all you've got to do to to install an actual mod pack is search for it up here at the top. It can be any mod pack you want. It could be all the mods. So if we search for that, we'll see all the different all the mods mod packs here. Now, unfortunately, it can be a little more difficult than it used to be. So you want to make sure you click all here and search for specifically mod packs. And here we are. All the mods 9, all the mods 10. We'll go ahead and grab all the mods 10. We can also go ahead and grab our mod pack and not to find here because why not? There it is. Click install. And then you could grab any other mod pack you want, like Crazy Craft, for example. You can install as many mod packs as you want on CurseForge, and you'll be able to see them all on the my mod packs tab here while these are installing i do want to mention clicking on this little settings icon on the bottom left and then clicking on minecraft these are your minecraft settings for example if you wanted to change you know whether minecraft was full screen when you launch it what your default render distance is and all that stuff one thing that i is worth noting if you want to add more ram which you often will need to do you want to come to this minecraft tab and scroll all the way down to allocated memory generally a lot of mod packs require at least six to eight thousand megabytes of ram so six thousand right around there and then 8,000 right around there and some large mod packs like all the mods can need 10 gigabytes of RAM or more it really just depends so once you've got that set you're good to go back and now any mod pack you launch will have that amount of RAM installed on it let's go ahead and launch a not a fine here but the process is exactly the same for any mod pack that you want to play after you've gotten it downloaded now the first time you click play on a mod pack it will actually have you sign into Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher. That's perfectly okay because it is the Minecraft launcher. It's the default Minecraft launcher. Instead of launching it on your computer like you normally would, you're just launching it through CurseWords. You can see it's the Minecraft launcher. It's the official launcher here, and we just need to log in. Once you've logged in to the Minecraft launcher, and this will work if you have Minecraft through Game Pass and all of that as well, it will go ahead and load up, and by default, we can just click on Minecraft Java Edition, and your mod pack will be installed. As we can see, here's not a fine. We can click play on that, but... We could also play, if we wanted to, all the mods 10. Same thing, when you click play, you've already signed into the Minecraft launcher now, so when it opens up, it's automatically going to be signed in. You don't have to sign in for every individual mod pack, just the first one that you open. Now we can go ahead and click play, and all the mods 10 will open up, and it's that easy to get mod packs with CurseForge. You can now delete mod packs by right-clicking and deleting a profile. You can change different things about them. For example, the mod pack version can be changed by right-clicking on the mod pack and clicking change version and then selecting another version. You can also do things like customize mod packs. This can get a little risky. You can come in here and select content and do things like add mods and all of that. Again though, I generally wouldn't recommend adding mods to mod packs because it can and does often, often, often 
break things. So with that being said, you now know how to get mod packs up and running, just like all the mods 10 is now up and running here. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below and enjoy your new Minecraft mod packs. In my opinion, it's kind of the best way to play Minecraft. So much additional content makes things so fun. We'll see you in the next video and I'm out. Peace.